Sagittarius, smile, what's the use of crying? You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile. Smile, Sagittarius. <laughs> I know you're smiling. I know you're smiling. I know you're smiling. Oh my God, Sagittarius, what's going on? There's so many things coming towards you, so many blessings. I'm feeling so much love from you guys. Thank you so much, you guys. So the blessings are lining up, okay, and they're coming in threes. I don't know if someone else has told you this or if you've heard this somewhere, but I do see it. It's coming in threes for you. It's also an energy of the universe, of God wanting to spoil you. And give you good news. Give you good news for all of the uh, struggling that you've gone through. You've kept the faith. There is a lot of abundance coming towards you. A lot of financial abundance. And there is a message followed by money. Is what I'm seeing. So you're receiving this message and, and replying. And then I'm seeing it for being followed by money. I feel that you are very protected. Your vibration is raising very highly. You've got like um, a royal energy around you or a noble energy around you. Like, you know, you're starting to really raise your vibration. Um, and um, again, I'm seeing your, he your health improving in this reading. I think I've seen it in your readings before, you guys. I'm seeing someone working out and exercising and your health is improving, okay? And I think that you're even looking a lot better and be more beautiful and more sexy, handsome. I feel that you are looking at something with the eyes of love is what I'm seeing. Um, I'm feeling so much love from you guys. Thank you so much. I hope it's my readings that you're looking at with eyes of love, Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> I think there's a big love that you have for someone. You could be talking to someone on the phone um, or getting a message on a, on a telephone because I'm seeing a screen or someone is seeing you through a screen and they um, adore you. They like what how you look like, what your energy is like. There's also an extraterrestrial connection or a star connection between two people. Um, I, I feel it's from this, is it from this, it's not from the same star family as us. Um, but, but I come from two star families or a bit more than that. My main ones are the Pleiades and Canis Major. Um, and I feel that you're Canis Major. Yeah, for sure. So you have a Canis Major or around that area. That's where your family, star family are from. I feel that there are there is the energy of goddesses of abundance, Lakshmi, um, and um, she's she's there. She's very powerful. She's my friend. She helps me out, and she blesses me with abundance, big abundance. Um, and she's always on the case. Like she always makes sure that there's more than enough. She's really sweet and so helpful, and I just love her. Um, like she's like a mum to me, you know, a mother. I feel her energy so strongly. So, and abundance is entering your home, and love is entering your life, and there is a lot of healing for you here that is going to happen. Okay, the again, I'm seeing this communication. You receive it or you send it, Sagittarius, which is going to make you very happy. It's a beautiful communication, and I'm see, I'm seeing it's communication over the water or from between two people who are in different continents for sure um and it's and it's very uh positive it's connected to a love connection but there's an angelic energy here as well archangel michael the energy of archangel michael here protecting this union and protecting the feminine in this connection very powerfully and it's like he's bringing the masculine towards the, this feminine because he wants the masculine to protect the feminine. 
I feel the feminine is very powerful though as well, the feminine energy here. She's spiritually very powerful and physically strong. But this masculine, when he comes towards this feminine, is sent by the angels to protect this feminine energy. I'm getting the energy of the sun, sunshine. Um, could, you could be in a warm place or a hot place or this feminine energy is in the, in the warm country or hot country. Um, but I do feel that the masculine is in the warmer place. And the feminine is a bit is here in the UK is what I'm feeling is here she's here in the UK or he's here in the UK this feminine energy. Um, both of these people have a, conne a powerful connection to Archangel Michael, and it's like this feminine can feel the energy of Archangel Michael whenever he's around someone. I have a connection with Archangel Michael when I close my eyes, I see him every single time. And it's not even a joke. It's really like he's printed in, on the insides of my eyelids or something. I, I just see him. And I see his sword with great detail. I don't see his face. I've never seen the actual face. But I've seen the outline of the head and the hair and the wings. And I've seen the, uh, the sword. I know he doesn't play when it comes to me. He doesn't play. And he and when he protects someone, mm, you better get out of the way. <laughs> These people better get out of your way, Sagittarius. I think he's protecting you. And he's protecting this feminine energy that you're connected to. I think people better get out of the way of this connection. I do feel that there is um, a lot of um, passion in this connection, physical attraction. It's bringing a lot of changes to both of these people. I'm hearing birds of a feather flock together. So these two people are similar in attitudes, in thinking, in beliefs. They're, they're, they're quite similar to each other. They're also both very beautiful people, both the masculine and the feminine in this connection. Um, I know you guys, Sagittarius, you're always gorgeous people. I know that for sure, for a fact. You're always beautiful and um, attractive. You've got this aura around you guys that is very bright and it shines the, like the sun. There is an energy of a bond that is going to form across the miles, I'm hearing. And then there's going to be a union at some stage. I'm seeing August. In August this year could be, or I'm just seeing the number eight, but it could be in the warmer months when these two people are actually physically going to be together in one place. It's going to be so beautiful. There is a big energy of abundance coming towards you as well. There is a breakthrough and there's an energy of someone psychic here, or spiritual that I'm feeling very strongly. Your energy is real. Your gift is very powerful. It's very real. Um, and I can feel, I can feel this energy. It's like a kindred spirit. It's a very powerful connection. Thank you for coming to the reading. We love you, welcome you with open arms and we bless you with our energy as you bless us with ours. May God protect you and bless you always. So there is this powerful connection. There is this, um, someone seeing, energy of someone seeing someone at a distance and there's this then union happening. Um, it's going to be very powerful. I'm getting the energy of a Buddha or someone who is Buddhist or has like a Buddhist energy with them. Both of these people, I think they're like, the, they're like a Buddhist energy. They could be other faiths, but they're very accepting and open. And I'm seeing Archangel Michael is connected to both. The Archangel Michael is putting his, his hand over this masculine shoulder and giving him the energy and the strength and the inspiration to um, contact this feminine. And I feel that Archangel Michael was the reason that this masculine saw this feminine in the first place. It was Archangel Michael. I'm seeing someone reporting to Archangel Michael, telling him about this feminine and about the masculine, um, telling him and pointing towards the feminine. I'm literally seeing an, an, an angel that's a bit lower than Archangel Michael going to him and telling him her. 
Because I think Archangel Michael was looking for a feminine for this masculine specifically, for sure. He was looking for a long time. And then this lower angel went to Archangel Michael and said to him, her or him, that's the one. They want someone who will basically not betray this masculine. They want someone who will be emotionally caring towards this masculine. They don't want someone abusive or low vibrational. They, they don't want someone who cheats. They don't want someone who lies. They don't want someone who is not open-minded or is harsh in any kind of way. They don't want someone who is um, greedy. That's a very big thing for them, I'm seeing. They don't want someone who is a gold digger or anything like that. They want someone who's genuinely good. And they've seen them. And they, Archangel Michael has made this masculine see this feminine. It's such a beautiful thing. We could write a book about this. <laughs> that would be nice, you guys. Let me know when it happens. You guys are going to be very blessed. You, you, have, you have an extremely blessed time coming towards you all. Um, and you're going to have a lot of health, a lot of wealth, a lot of beauty and unions happening. Okay, and they're saying that you are guided to the, take the right path by God. And you will be amazing. I love you so much, Sagittarius. God bless you. And I will see you in your next reading. Thank you.